Hello again. Have we met? Of course. You're the pipehead man, the fortune teller from Port of Fisco. And when we met just now, you said exactly the same thing. Although, damn, that hasn't happened yet. Uh-oh, wait a second. Uh, Vince, would it be really dumb to talk to someone who won't know me yet later this evening? Yes, that really would be very dumb. Did I forget to tell you that? Yes, you did. Well, then it's good that you thought of it in time. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> Can you maybe just forget that we saw each other? Not when you're behaving so strangely. Oh, come on, it's really important. The only thing I can do for you is tell your future. Okay, well then. Will I turn into a pile of ashes? We'll find out soon enough. What's this? Strange. I don't have any reception. Which could mean anything. Right? Right? Oh, boy. Will you forget that I was here? I don't need to look into the ball for that. The answer is no. Mm, crap. What are the hat trends of the future? Not a completely trivial matter. I'll ask the ball. <laughs> One more question. Do you believe there's a tailcoat and a ring somewhere here? Funny you should ask. I'm convinced there is. Very good. Funny. Why does that seem so familiar? The ball has spoken. The answer is... Turbans! I always knew it. And now, please, excuse me. I saw an exciting article. Huh? Here's a switch on the bottom. I won. Yikes! What have we here? That's no crystal ball. This is a portable time portal. This whole fortune teller number is nothing but a fraud. is colorblind. Nah, I don't think I'll take the chance. Take that. Quick, Vince, we're done here. Hit it! That was fun! We should definitely do that again. Uh, no, let's not, Vince. Huh? What's going on here? Rufus! Over here! Finally, where have you been? Take it easy. You don't find a tailcoat in just any cemetery. But years have passed here in interim time. I proposed to her ages ago. I see. Then you don't need the stuff anymore. On the contrary, I need them more urgently than ever. The wedding party is waiting. Have you got everything? Almost. Got the tails. All that's missing is the ring. But that's the most important thing. Don't panic. I'll take care of it. Hurry, please.
So, did you get the ring? What do you think? Here. Thank you so much. You're a real friend. A real friend who now has free reign. <laughs> Let's go. Ow! Where have I landed this time? Not in Kuvak, that much is certain. A pile of broken off clock hands. They could come in handy, just like most scrap eventually proves useful. Can I borrow the crossbow? We're in the middle of a ceasefire. Perfect, then you don't need it. Hello, stranger. Can you tell me where I've landed? We call this place the waste of time. But I'm no stranger. We set great stall by that here. My name is Moment. I belong to the Native Legion. This here is the land of my forefathers. This desert is said to have been a beautiful place many generations ago. But then foreigners came and claimed the land for themselves. And with them came the drought. Now we are at war to reclaim our forefathers' lost paradise. Hmm, that sounds quite understandable. With a name like Waste of Time, I would have expected something more senseless. The legends say that the true meaning of the name only becomes clear when you know its history. Personally, I think it's got something to do with the broken clocks. All that wonderful tachyon slime is just seeping into the desert floor here. What a waste. Right, that could make a good poison for bolts. Rufus, time traveler, wedding planner, temporal sniper. All was quiet in the enemy camp, too quiet. Clock hands for crossbow ammunition? Well, why not? Great, the time pod now looks even worse than before. Let's see if it still works. Hmm, I can scan for portals, but I can't open them. And it only recognizes the portal I came here through. Well, here we go. Ha, right on target. What can I say? About time that something finally went right around here again. Nope. Useless. What the...? Everything here is broken. Was I gone that long? Rita! Rita, you're alive! But then... Who's lying back there with Rocco? Who do you think? It's that prim and proper girl, Gold, his wife. But that can't be. That can't have happened. And anyway, he was supposed to marry you. Perhaps you should have told him back then. Didn't I? I thought I had. But that means Gold is dead? Everyone's dead. Oh. Without the portals, everything here died. I'm the last survivor, but not for much longer. Food supplies have run out. Don't panic. I'm here now. Nice offer, but there's not much flesh on your bones. I meant, I'm here to fix things. Mm. If you're that keen on fixing something, the jukebox is broken. I wish it would play just one more time. That's not good. The needle broke.
<laughs> Here grows nothing. Yikes! Oh, I'm here, but why isn't anything moving? Hello? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Nothing going on but the rent. Obviously, I'm classed as still in the interval. I can't reach that from here. But who cares? The door's already open. I need them more urgently than he does. Well, what are those things? And why didn't I notice them earlier? You are what you eat. According to that, the Chronicle would be a green string vegetable hiding under a tin lid. Landed right in his coat pocket. How am I ever supposed to get hold of it now? You are what you eat, according to. I rounded up something for us to eat. Help yourself. You're still young and need to keep your strength up. Show me your finger. Mmm. Eat. Eat, my child. There's no music in there. That's not good. The needle broke. Tch. Nothing new to see. Just about done. Oh, that's pretty. Thanks, Rufus. You've made an old woman cry over her ruined cartridge collection. Oh, well done. Oops. I rounded up something for us to eat. Help yourself. You're still young and need to keep your strength up. Show me your finger. Mmm. I only know one door that that... It's about time that something grew here again. So, and now we wait. Disappointing. In the relevant specialist literature, I was promised more dramatic results. For the new place, some seeds for his vegetable garden. And whoop! I can't reach that, but who can? Aha! I see potential! <gasps> Mr. Rufus! Finally! We almost gave up on you! We were mummy the mountain! Why? How long was I gone? More than half an hour. That's all? Years have passed in the interim time. But you seem to have aged so well. You haven't even changed clothes. I wasn't there long. I was stuck in another time. The Gold, the Chronicle, and Count Glandula. Man? I'm afraid so. But we're time travelers, right? We can return to a previous state of interim time. 
right? Think, how do I get back to the correct interim time? There has to be a way. Were there any other portals in range? Actually, only that little one there. But it's too narrow. And when I reach through, all I see is the scene from earlier where Glandy fell through the hole. Well, there we have it. The holes are clearly just a half an hour apart in real time. If you hurry, you could reach earlier on through the small portal from the other side and follow yourself into interim time through the big one. Can anyone translate this nerd speak for me? Oh, that! There's just one problem. The portal is too small. I can't get through. And I think I know why. The tachyon valves aren't open wide enough. Here, take my tachyon valve key. Your what? Ah! That should do it. Wish me luck. Be quick. With every second you spend outside interim time, time has also passed earlier on. Ouch! Uh, what are you staring at? Mr. Rufus, sir? But you've only just jumped through the portal. Of course. That's logical. Aren't you paying attention? <laughs> Before I go, your achievements this semester weren't bad. With still plenty of room for improvement. I hate your pause. <laughs> Ouch! Hey, I'm back in Paradox City. But when? The wedding. It's already started. Stop the wedding! Rufus, what are you doing here? I'm getting my girl back. What the hell? Your girl, really? What exactly is it that makes me your girl? Hmm? The fact you left me in the lurch here? The fact that you then disappeared for several years? Did you really think I'd just sit around here waiting for you? No way, Jose. We've not known each other a whole day. I've known you much longer. You know nothing. You mean the other girl. And you left her in the lurch, too. She told me everything. It's possible that you two had a great time back then. But I'm not her. My goodness! You're... you're jealous! What?! You jump! Ugh! Goal! Wait! <sighs> Bravo. Well done. I thought we were friends. I'm doing fine, too. Thanks for asking. Besides, I have everything here under control. Just let me talk to her, okay? <sighs> but hurry, the meat cake is getting cold. Hey, Goal? Clear off. Get it into your tiny head. It's too late for us. Huh? No! You got that wrong. The marriage wasn't completed. Everything's okay. Excuse me. Are you a sandwich short of a picnic? I know you're a bit slow, so I'm going to speak very slowly, okay? I have been living in Paradox City for over two years. I've only known you a day. This is my home! But you can't stay here. Once time resumes, this place won't even exist. I don't care! Okay, I'm beginning to understand what's going on here. You're mad because I left you alone. But look, it was worth it! Ta-da! What's that meant to be? Tachyon bolts. You can use them to open portals. We can finally escape this death trap. What the? You really haven't got it at all, have you? I'm going to get married. I don't need any stupid. Whoa! Go, don't. There are portals here. Wait, Goal. I'm coming. Ouch. What? 
where's the time pod? Oh no, how are we ever supposed to get back? Can you inform my betrothed that I could really use a little help here? Could you please inform this moron that I am not his bride-to-be? I think you two lovebirds should sort that out for yourselves. Goal, I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you. Aha! I see potential! This is the way, but I'm not leaving without gold. Who knows who else should win? Good news! I found a way out of here. It sounds like somebody spoke, but I can't see anyone. Oh, stop the nonsense already. We can go back to the interim. That has to be in your interests. Aha. Mr. Wedding Crasher suddenly knows what's best for me. Goal, I'm sorry. I didn't want us to end up here. Although kidnapping the bride, strictly speaking, is one of the best man's traditional duties. I know that you don't do these things deliberately. And I know it's my fault that we're stuck here. But for a time traveler, your timing really sucks. Whilst you're away, the old girl told me a lot about you. She said that you would come back and that I should be patient. She said that you had taught her to never give up hope. But all I could think of was that I didn't want to end up like her. Twice you've simply disappeared from her life, Rufus. But every time she had just about accepted that you would never come back, you pop up again. How is a girl meant to deal with that? Is that just one of your signature moves? And you pulled the same stunt on me three times now. And that's why you prefer to rot in the desert? Come on. What's that saying? All good things come in fours. Oh. Huh. She's pretty upset. Right? That's good. We have a saying here in the desert. If you want a coconut. Chasing your wife up the palm tree is half the battle. She'll get down by herself. Really? If that's true, I'm really on a run. They call him Rufus! Don't you recognize me? It's me, Gold! Never heard of you. But I couldn't let you in anyway. Orders are orders. But that's... Oh! Problems? Rocco won't lower the bridge. <laughs> then he obviously hasn't got to know you yet on this timeline. That's not a problem. He will very soon. Now I guess the guy isn't so great after all, huh? I seem to have a talent for attracting idiots. <laughs> True. First Cletus, then this guy. You really do seem to pick the biggest dorks around. Aha! I see potential! Hey! What are you doing? I'm folding myself a four-dimensional calendar out of recycled paper. It looks more like you're trying to open up a portal to me. Well, open portals are January's theme, you genius. You can't do that. That's an Elysium portal. The few locks will come. Then just try and stop me. I'm curious to see how you're going to do that without opening the gate. I'd be obliged to shoot. Or did you plan to... Wait a minute. What did you say? Are you serious? You would sooner shoot us than let us in. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Then brace yourself, my friend, because I'm traveling with the guy who breaks them, even if it means that he'll get shot to pieces in the process. Isn't that right, Rufus? Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, have you any ideas yet how we're going to get past him? Huh? Up here, Rufus. Oh, sorry. I just had an idea. We could... I'm sorry, what? Hey! 
What are you whispering about? And then we have to call the detective. <laughs> if you're whispering, you must be lying. And that's it. Think you can do it? Of course. Why not? Let's do it. Take your position, soldier. Really? Okay. I'll give you the signal when I'm ready. Go! Now! What the... Oh. Oh. What is it? Is the portal open already? Just a moment. Okay, now. No! Stop! Now we're together on Elysium, after all. Um, I guess we are. Come on, there should be a lot of other portals here. Can't we just stay here? Go, we've talked about this. At first, I also thought that was a good idea. But who will save the world if not us? That's unfair. Why are we not allowed to be happy? Uh, Go? Problems, dangers, problems, more dangers. It's almost as if someone was watching us and... Go! Responsible for all these few locks. Aren't they just great? And so much more efficient than the old robo servants. They're certainly in greater demand. The security personnel are especially popular. Every morning's the same. No sooner have I sent out the first few locks than the sirens start wailing all over the place. Security alert! Security alert! They can't get enough of them. Ronnie, you've got to stop. The few locks aren't security forces, they're a breach of security. That's the beauty of it. Animals and go karts but people want drama, action, and new Armageddon every day. And thanks to this time loop thingy, there are no consequences. Well, what do you think of my new entertainment program? You're crazy, Ronnie. Could be crazy for fun. This is not some kind of joke here, Ronnie. It's deadly serious. How can it be serious if it has no consequences? Because consequences are important. Without consequences, everything is just pointless. So what? Fun is always pointless. You're wrong. The opposite is true. And I think you just don't really know how to have fun. As long as I have this hat on, the adventure will never end. But you're not wearing a hat, Ronnie. Oh, schnitzel hooks, you're right. Wait, I'll have to correct that immediately. That's better. Your hat is stupid, Ronnie. <sighs> I know. But you try folding a hat when you've got leaves instead of hands. I can't even get a paper aeroplane right. Whee! Ow! Oh, <laughs> Sorry, the game's almost finished for the day anyway. Not much longer before it's bit deep, bit deep, bit deep. I'd be happy for the company while we wait for the time reset. In the meantime, I'll play you the new song I've written. Slowly uh, may pulling I? out your fingernailies. Yes, I think that was probably funny enough. Ouch! Uh, of course, 50 years of Hats magazine. The best of hats from five decades. Well, isn't that a funny coincidence? Go on, read it out. Which hats made it to the top of the tops? Tinfoil hats have still managed to win a good fourth place. An outstanding choice. I should like to have one just the same as that. Hmm. Didn't you have one with you in the computer core? Oh, yes, silly me. It really doesn't get any better than this. After all, this ha 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 Wait a minute, what's what's going on now? That was a trick! The hat is overloading my avatar! Few locks! Now! This is our chance! 
Your hat is hereby fully out of fashion again. Aha! I see potential! of walking the way to the shore. You've got a plan? Yeah. Coming right up. I'm gonna try something. Back in a minute. Rufus? Rufus! Rufus! Whoa! Ouch! 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 Always ouch! Oh no, go. I didn't want you to see this. It's all right, I'll cope. No one should see their own corpse. That's not me, Rufus. That's Rita. What? But. You're right, man, this is confusing. Last time it was you who lay here, just like that. I can't blame him. After all, I wasn't here. But we can change that. I know a way back. So that I can lie there instead? Oh, this is all so depressing. Huh, that's new too. Apparently we're even further into the future, or whatever this place is called. Aha! I see potential! Not that, too! The water washed the tachyon broth off the hands! Well, at least we solved the Fulok problem, right? Yeah, well done. We've washed them all down to Paradox City. Don't worry. I'll get us out of here. Hurry, then. This place is giving me the heebie-beebies. Whether that still works. Uh huh. The water washed the tachyon broth off the hands. Time to recharge them. I found a way out! Oh, thank goodness. This place is giving me the heebie-beebies. The most important thing is that we're staying alive. What are we waiting for? Nothing. Let's get out of here. Ladies first.
Wow. So many colorful plants. Those are flowers. We don't even have this many on Elysium. Well, let's be honest. It's not totally ugly. And we have you two to thank for it. That was us? You ended the war and showed us the way to the promised land. And now? Is there a party or something? Where are your comrades? They have already left. Into the past? The source of everything that is good, right? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you keep going? Of course. Can you keep going? Of course. Aha! I see potential. Somehow you make things work out in the end. You make things better. I... I had given up hope, but when I look around now... Don't be getting all maudlin on me now. Come! The future awaits! Well, here we go. Ha! Right on target! What can I say? About time that something finally went right around here again. certainly got a claim to being bonkers. We have lived here forever, and we don't have room for any little daddy's boys. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, old-timer? Old-timer? What impertinence! This means war! Oh, here we go again. Go! Rufus! What are you still doing here? Rita and Rocco! Look, Gold! It's Rita and Rocco! Hundreds of few locks have been flushed into interim time! We're evacuating the city! What about Old Gold and Angus? They refuse to leave. They're still on the farm! Then we have to get them! Well then, good luck! Yep, you too! Did you notice Rita's belly? Come on, it's not safe here! You're right, let's move. trapped here. Yeah, looks like it. That means...
We have to go right. Don't yell at me. I can't see a thing down here. That's why I'm telling you. Right. Right. Ah! Stop. It has to be here. Get a move on or they'll shred us to bits. Don't rush me. Without knowing where to aim, this is no point. Aha! I see potential! Done! Come on! Booster rockets! Hold tight! Puff! What do you mean, Puff? Not my fault. They're tearing us apart here! What's wrong? Get up here! I can't! My light's trapped! Go without us. I'll stay with him. I'd only be a dead weight. No! Either we all go, or none of us! I always wanted to say that. Come on, Rufus. That out there is no longer our time. Someone has to save the world all over again, and I would be very disappointed if it wasn't you two. Now, go! Yeah, okay. But where? Uh, now would be a great time for one of your ridiculous plans. Yeah, nothing new to see. How ridiculous are we talking? Taking it to the max? Looking at our current situation? Uh, sheer stupidity, bordering on ludicrous. Only bordering? Sorry, too late for that now. Jump! In the junk caves beneath Kuvak. This is where the elephant was hiding. Elephant? Have you mentioned that before? Nah, I'll tell you later. First, we have to find out who keeps cranking the chrono car. And stop them, right? Right. But be careful. We don't know in what time we've landed here. Don't look at me. 